Something completely different this week. We have our very first guest lecturer. One of the questions I get all the time is, can you help me some more with vertex compensation? Well, vertex compensation really comes down to lens focal length. And our lecturer today is gonna to take us through the steps of working vertex compensation basically just from the focal length formulas of D is equal to one over F, or F is equal to one over D. And now for something completely different. All right, before I let Marty loose on the whiteboard to talk about his understanding or how he teaches vertex compensation, as always, we really strive to bring you experts at what they do here to the training center. Uh, so I wanna to talk to Marty a little bit more about his experience. Tell us a little bit more about what you've been doing for the last 40 years. I started optician, Navy optician school in June of 79. And then I worked out on the floor at just about every position in the laboratory, both finishing and surfacing side. Nostra is the Naval Ophthalmic Support and Training Activity, and it is in Yorktown, Virginia. Uh, talk a little bit about the, the, the volumes that a lab like that sees. I mean, they're serving, if I'm not mistaken, every branch of the military for every, almost every single person that's involved in the military can get their Ar glasses. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. On average, we were putting out roughly 3,700 pair of glasses a day. During Desert Shield, Desert Storm, that changed a little bit because... They recalled 250,000 reservists. For every reservist that came on that wore glasses, we would have to make seven pair of glasses. Two pair clear, two pair tint, and then one for each type of gas mask that's available because with all the pre-positioned equipment, they didn't know which type of gas mask that they would get when they got to uh, Saudi Arabia. What else did Nostra take you? Uh, well, from Nostra, I transferred to the optical shop at Great Lakes, Illinois. So in four years that I was there, I saw 160,000 recruits. After four years in the frozen tundra of the North, the Navy decided to have pity on myself and the family, and we were sent to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii Ooh. for three and a half years. While I was at Great Lakes and while I was in Hawaii, I moonlighted out in town. Um, I worked at a Pearl Vision Center for two years in Great Lakes, and then I helped open a lens crafter store in Waukegan, Illinois. And then when I was in Hawaii, lens crafters decided that they were going to open some shops in Hawaii. I taught at Nostra for about five and a half years before I retired. After I retired, I started working at a optical shop out in town. While I was doing that, I was getting my bachelor's degree. And then I started working at Hampton Roads Eye Associates. And after a couple of years full time there, I decided that I wanted to go back to school and get my master's for a teaching degree. I actually started teaching in the Virginia Apprentice Program which is at Norfolk Technical Center in Norfolk, Virginia. And I have been teaching there since 1999. So it's been a few days. All right, 40 plus years, almost without a hitch, you've been on both sides of the aisle in optics, uh, surfacing and finishing and hands-on dispensing. And you've seen hundreds of students now. What would you say is the most important thing for an opticianry student to have to be successful? You have to be able to relate to people. If you are not a people person, the retail side of opticianry is not the place for you. All right, I am gonna set Marty Luce at the whiteboard. On a higher prescription power, which is normally about eh, seven diopters or greater, 
is where you want to start to worry about vertex distance compensation. Let's take a look at a problem here. Let's do a prescription of, say, What I have to do is figure out what the powers are on the major meridians. There is actually a chart that you need to know to figure out whether you're going to be adding or subtracting to the focal length. In addition to this information, you need to know two things. You need to find out from the doctor what the refracting vertex is. Most uh, phoropters normally have a refracting vertex between 10 to 12 millimeters. Let's say that this patient has a refracting vertex of 14 millimeters. And when you fit the glasses, the new frame with it, you use a distometer to measure the distance from the front of the eye to the back surface of the lens. And you measure that at being eight millimeters. Now I just subtract the two and 14 minus eight is six millimeters. But when we're working the focal length problem, focal length is always figured out in meters. So I have to be able to convert six millimeters to meters. So for millimeters, the next one you have is centimeters. Then you have decimeters. And then you finally have meters. It would be six. Centimeters would be 0.6. Decimeters would be 0.06. And meters would be 0.006. This is what I'm going to be using for figuring out what my total uh, power is going to be at the end. And there's another formula that you have to know, and that is focal length is one over dioptric power is dioptric power is one over focal length. I have the major meridian powers for the right eye. I have the major meridian powers for the left eye. Now I need to start working the problem. So I have minus 10, and I have minus 12. I have plus eight, and I have plus seven. And now I use my calculator. One divided by 10 gives you 0.1. And when you're figuring this out, you want to do it four places past the decimal. So this is 0 0.1000. Zero, zero, zero. One divided by 12 gives me 0 0.08. Three, three. One divided by eight gives me point one two five zero. And lastly, one divided by seven will give me point one four two eight. And again, these are all meters. You need to determine which direction you're going to figure out which one of this part of the chart you're going to be using. What you always want to do is go from the refracting vertex to the wearing vertex. So the refracting vertex is at 14. The wearing vertex is at 8. So you're going to go toward the eye We'll look at this as being towards. I have a minus lens that's being moved toward the eye. So I'm going to add 
zero zero six meters. On a plus lens that's moved toward the eye, I have to subtract movement. I'm going to do minus 0 0.006 meters and minus 0 0.006 meters. To figure out this, I had to do focal length is one over diopter power. So one divided by 10 gave me that. One divided by 12 gave me this. One divided by eight gave me that. And one divided by seven gave me this. Now I need to go back and I need to convert the focal length into dioptic power. So I'm gonna use the other formula. Dioptic power is one over focal length. I take one divided by point 1060. Now I need to determine what the new cylinder power is. Here, the difference between these two is the cylinder power. The difference between these two is the cylinder power. So the difference between these is going to be the cylinder power. Minus 11.19. My compensated prescription turns out to be minus 9.43. Which is this one here. My cylinder power is minus 1.76, and it was at axis 090. For the left eye, it would be plus 8.40 minus 1.10 at axis 090. We need to figure out what the refracting vertex is or find out from the doctor the refracting vertex and then we have to measure the wearing vertex. So for this patient, the refracting vertex was 12 millimeters. And the patient's wearing vertex, because they have very long eyelashes, they are going to be wearing it at 17 millimeters. So the difference between 17 and 12 is 5 millimeters. In the previous section, I showed you how to convert from millimeters to meters. So we're moving at three decimal points, or three places. It's going to be 0 0.005 meters. Now we have to find the powers on the major meridians. I gave you the chart before. Am I going away from the eye or towards the eye? And the way you determine that is you go from the refracting vertex, which is 12 millimeters, to the wearing vertex, which is 17. So in order to get there, I have to go away from the eye. So I'm six millimeter or five millimeters away. For my right eye, which is plus, I'm going to add plus away add. And for the right eye, or left eye, it's minus. So minus away subtract. Now we have to do the math. So we do plus nine. plus 7, 
And then we have minus 7 and minus 8. Now we're going to convert dioptric power to focal length. So we're going to take 1 and divide it by 9. And it gives me 0 0.1111. And you want to do this where you're going four places past the decimal, and it'll give you the closest answer to what you're looking for. I'm going to add for this one. So I'm going to add 0 0.005, and all of these are meters. So I'm going to add 0 0.005 meters. And for the left eye, it's minus. So minus away, subtract. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.005 meters. 0 0.1111 plus 0 0.005 will give me 0 0.1161. Just because I'm starting to run out of room, I'm going to erase this part here. And I'm also going to change markers so that you see that we're doing the other formula, which is now dioptic power. We're converting focal length to dioptic power. So now I'm going to do 1 divided by 0.16. The difference between plus 9 and plus 7 is 2, which is what my cylinder power is. Difference between minus 7 and 8 is 1, which is what my cylinder power is. So now I'm going to take the difference between these two and these two to figure out what my new cylinder power is. Now, we started with this prescription. Now we're going to find out what the prescription is with vertex distance compensation. So we have plus 8.61, which is my original sphere power converted over, minus, because it was worked in minus, 1.85. At axis 120. And then we have minus 7.25, minus 1.08 at axis 060. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you took something away from that. Please, if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. It does help us out and make sure that every compensated lens in your optical life comes from Laramie K. I will see you again next week.